Hey there, I want to show you two simple blues progressions. Um, we, I did some videos on two chord songs. A blues progression is basically in its basic rawest form as a three chord progression. Um, oftentimes you'll hear it referred to as a one, four, five progression sometimes because that's the three chords that are in it. Um, and we're going to do this in the key of E. So I'm going to start out by showing you the three chords we're going to use. And they're all seventh chords. We're going to do E7, which is all six strings. Okay, open the bottom string, open. Second fret, open. First fret, open, open. So we'll use our second finger on the second fret and first finger on the first fret. And that's our E7 chord. Okay, that's our one chord. We're in the key of E. E7 is going to be the one chord. If we count up four, four scale tones in the key, of E. Okay, one, two, three, four, do, re, mi, fa. Okay, the fourth is an A note. And so the fourth chord is going to be an A7 chord. So the way we're going to play A7, I'm going to use my second finger on the second fret of the fourth string and my third finger on the second fret of the second string. And I'm not going to play the bottom string. So I'm going to try to strum from the fifth string down. So it's nothing on the bottom string, then open. 2nd fret, open, 2nd fret, open. Um, and, you know, I'll generally sneak my thumb around here. If you can't get this chord to sound good uh, with your thumb up here, you might have to bring your thumb back in the back to give yourself a better leverage. Um, but you might run the risk of hitting that open E string and kind of making it a little bit muddy. So I usually bring my thumb around to deaden that E string. So then I don't really have to worry too much about my right hand if I'm really missing strings. Because the last thing you want to do is go A and E where you're getting to bang out all six strings and then jump to the A chord and you've got to go try to be really precise and it just kind of harshes your vibe. So, okay, and then the other chord is also a five string chord, B7. Um, and so we're going to, again, nothing on the bottom string. And if we go five uh, scale tones, one, two, three, four, five, we get to the B note, which is our five chord. Okay, so here, here it is. Uh, second finger on the second fret of the fifth string, first finger on the first fret of the fourth string, third finger on the second fret of the third string, open second string, pinky on the second fret of the first string. So you'll notice that on the B7 chord, three of our fingers are on the second fret, and then your first finger is here on the first fret. And then again, I'm going to bring my thumb around, but that might be very difficult with a four finger chord. Um, you could also kind of put your second finger up a little bit to deaden that bottom string because you definitely don't want the E string ringing out on the B7 chord. Here's the B7 chord. But with the E string ringing out, it gets really weird sounding. So you don't want that. So I might, you'll see me putting my thumb up here and getting that bottom string. Okay, so we have the one chord, which is E7. The two chord, which is, I mean, sorry, the, five, the four chord, which is A7. And then the five chord, which is B7. Okay, I'm going to so, show you a simple blues progression, and I'm going to show you a simpler one. Now, as simple as a blues progression is, they aren't as easy as they sound because it's a 12-bar progression. And I mentioned this before in uh, my video, Playing Well With Others. You might want to check that out. I'll put a link in here so you can see that one. Um, but basically, the, the most songs go, go by in four bar, you know, four measure chunks, or eight measure chunks, or 16 bars. But 12 bars is kind of weird, so what happens a lot of times when, when someone is playing the blues, you know, you're doing it with someone, you know, rarely you're going to play just some wrong blues chords by yourself. The idea here is to give you something that you can play with someone else who's maybe better than you, that can practice while you just practice your rhythm, they practice their lead. Um, but it's very frustrating if you turn that 12-bar blues into an 11-bar blues or a 13-bar blues or an 8-bar blues. You want to make sure that you get it down. So the simple, simplest one, the simpler one, is we're just going to play um, four bars of E. So it's going to be 16 strums of E. Four bars of four strums each. So it's this. One. A chord, we're going to switch to the A7 chord, and we're going to play two bars of four beats. So that's going to be eight strums. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So, so far that's six bars. That's halfway there. We're going to go back to E 
for two more bars of four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now we're going to go to the five chord, which is B7, and we're going to play that for two bars, uh, four beats each. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to go back to the one chord to end the whole thing. And we're going to do two more bars of four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, this is where we get into trouble because often now you've got to do four more bars of E. And generally you're thinking, oh, when you're on the E chord, you're thinking, oh, okay, I'm back at the top of the song. You're not. You've got two more bars to go, then you're at the top of the song. So you've got to play ultimately what's in, in this very, very simplest form of the E blues progression. You've got to play six bars in a row. And that's where you, you stop and you end up playing 10 bars instead of 12. Um, so try to be very disciplined with that. Um, maybe even write it out on a piece of paper so you can be staring at it and watching it go by. And then when you get to those, those last two bars of the song, you're sitting on E chord, two bars of four, and then you're back to the top. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four. Switch to A. Okay, so I'm going to go to the top. I'm going to play it like that. You can play along with me if you can change quick enough. Um, and I'm just going to play one time through the progression. I'll end on the first beat of the uh, the first bar at the at, once we've done a whole loop. So here it is: one, two, three, four. So that was 12 bars plus the first bar at the top. Okay, now I'm gonna give you the simple one. That was the simplest one. This is a little, this is less simple. Same three chords though, E7, A7, and B7. Same three chords. Uh, but now we're gonna make it a little bit more interesting because that's pretty boring. Uh, this one is a little bit more interesting. So we're gonna start with one bar of one chord, one bar of E7. We're going to do one bar of the four chord, which is A7, and then we're going to do two bars of the E. Okay, so that one's a little bit different than the previous one. The previous one we just did four bars of E7. This one we did a bar of E7, a bar of A7, and two bars of E7. So it breaks it up a little bit more, a little more interesting. The second four bars is going to be the same as before. So we're just going to do, um, we're going to do Two bars of A7. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. And then two bars of E7. One, two, three, four. Okay. Now we're going to go to the five chord, which is B7. We're going to play one bar of five. One bar, bar of four. One bar of one. And then one bar of five. 12 bars. Now that takes us back to the five takes us really strongly back to the one chord. Okay? So I'm gonna play that again. I'll talk through it as I play it, and then I'll play it again after that where I won't talk through it and you can just kind of join me. So here we go. The one chord for one bar. Four chord for one bar. One chord for two bars. Go to the four chord for two. One chord for two bars. Three, four, one, two. Now five chord. Three, four, four chord. One. Five, and then back to one. Now the great thing about the bar, uh, the blues is you can play fast. You can play fast blues. You can play you know kind of slow, whatever. It all you can play at different tempos and as you get better you can go faster and faster and, and uh, again one of the best ways to get get better is to play with others so if you um, get confident playing playing this by yourself then then join ask someone else to join along with you so here here's the progression um, I'm just gonna play the new less simple progression and uh, and uh, I'll play those uh, you can play along if you can get if you've got it down three four
notice that I'm muting, kind of hitting the strings and then deadening them. You don't have to do that. That's just, I'm just, that so it's not too ringy for our video. It's a little harder to hear the beats go by when I let it ring. So that's kind of why I'm doing a choppier thing. And I'm also, at the same time, I'm kind of muting with the right, the side of my right hand. I'm also kind of lifting up the, the string so that I'm not uh, pushing down on them so they don't ring out, but it, it's not, I don't need to do that. I just naturally do it, so it's hard to stop. Okay, so there's two two simple blues progressions for you to practice, um, and these are three chord progressions, so we've got the two chord songs, and now we've got a three chord song, and there's a million songs with three chords, and there's a million songs with four chords. I, it's it's endless. It's endless. So um, I did do a video, like I said, about uh, playing well with others. In that video is the pentatonic or the blue scale in E. I would totally recommend learning that and watching that video as well so that you can um, learn at least one scale to start with to start to solo over that progression. And that way you can flip roles with your partner and instead of playing just um, rhythm, you can play lead too. Okay? I hope you're doing well. God bless you and enjoy the blues.